Juicy chunks of tender beef, sweet stewed carrots, succulent raisins and chickpeas, and loads of rice soaked with incredible flavors. Plov is the best dish you may have never heard of. It's the national dish of Uzbekistan, and this guy, Erik, makes it the best in NYC. We're in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and we're about to feast on one of our favorite dishes, plov. Plov is a major part of life for Tajik people. You know, make it one day plov, because they cry. So we had to see how the master chef, Eric, does it. Step one, start frying the giant hunks of beef over a massive oven called a kazan. Step two, toss in some onions. Step three, add in pounds and pounds of carrots. Step four, mix in some juicy raisins, chickpeas, and plenty of seasoning. Step five, add in about 55 pounds of rice, enough to feed 300 people today. The rice simmers on top of the greasy meat and vegetable stew, soaking up all the glorious flavor. The whole thing gets mixed together and piled onto heaping plates for tables and tables of hungry Tajiks, who start lining up at around 11 a.m. every single day. So when you order plov, it's not just, you don't just order the dish. It's a multi-step affair. I think they'll bring out some tea. We're gonna get some salad with cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions. And we'll also get some traditional bread from Samarkand, and then the plov will come out. So this is a this is a big morning. Let's eat. That was so good. If you have never had plov before. You need to get here and have some plov. I just like burst in your oh, just burst in your mouth. Sweet flavor. Full. Tired. Erik is Tajik, from the ancient city Samarkand in the middle of Uzbekistan. It's a beautiful city with a rich history of food and culture. The master plov chef of each community is called the Oshkhor, and Erik is the Oshkhor for his community of Tajiks here. Oshkhor! Oshkhor! <laughs> Erik's family lives across the street, but he's not there too much. He works 16 hours a day, 7 days a week in his restaurant. Home work. Home work. Never vacation, never... Nothing. If you not set up the business, you lost business. It's a work ethic he learned growing up when Uzbekistan was part of the Soviet Union. 15, 30 years old, me working, you know? 10, 15 hours me working for my country. There are now about 55,000 Uzbek immigrants in the United States, and nearly half of them live in New York City. So Eric's job at the restaurant is important, helping his growing community of Tajiks feel like they're eating right back at home and helping guys like us feel part of the Tajik community too, right here in Brooklyn. Eating Tajik foods, drinking Tajik drinks, and making new Tajik friends on a Sunday morning. Thanks to this guy. I am Eric, I am from Uzbekistan. Kralyan! If you like the music in this video, we found it using Soundstripe, a library of royalty-free music. They literally save us hours on every video because they make it so easy to find the perfect music for any mood and you don't have to deal with any of that copyright stuff. So if you're a creator, go check them out.